Hey everyone, this is Papa Nugget. We're back with another episode of Mainline. Playing Hades. We've got Loki and Monkey Feathers along for the ride, as usual. Trust me, they are here. I promise. I guess they just don't want to say anything. I was pantomiming what you were doing. So, it's, who will know who was talking? Was it me? Was it you? I was actually, I was actually hoping that Loki would have continued my bit, which was not talking for a good five minutes. I would have hoped. That's not a good bit. It's not a good bit, but it would still be a bit. It is not necessary to Mix. Me. Surely all those who once defied my brothers and myself would much prefer mm. a post within my house over eternity within the lowest Also, the answers are because it's not later the in the day than we normally you. record. Lucky so, tooth. you just grabbed the spear. Darkness, give me strength. Yep. I grabbed the spear. Mm. He's learned things. Apparently. I learned that I like the spear. I like playing with it. So you like playing with it more than the bow? Yep. And I guess if it hasn't been clear, Nugget's been playing this on his off off time. Also, just just while we're here, I still hate Artemis. Why? Yeah, you are. He hates the name. Just, just the name. Just the name, just the name Artemis. Just I understand. I mean, mm -hmm. Nugget is the only one who understands. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Oh. Always pick the yeah, deadliest like hammer. Is... FYI. Oh. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip Every nugget, single time? Nugget. Every single Nuggets time. Pro tips. They only come up a handful of times throughout the game, and they modify your your primary attacks or your special, and so you only have... You don't want to miss them. Triple jab. So spin attack. Trip, I don't want spin, and I never dash strike. Even though you should, I don't. But this one's pretty cool. I like it. Well, yeah. It's yeah, again, if it hasn't been reiterated. Not as good as some of the other ones, but for AOE, it's good. But it doesn't really help you on fighting bosses because you only have one person that you're fighting usually. Not yeah. every time, but. Unless Most it's times. unless it's that snake, the snake, the hydra, the bone hydra. Uh, it does. Where we were last it does time. help on that one. That is one boss that it does help. Oh, this guy's got armor. Yeah. So as I was gonna say, Nugget has been playing this on his offhand. He's been learning. Yep. He's My been gaining some. He's been some playing it with, his, with his offhand. Yep. So it's it's like in uh, Princess Bride where they're like, I'm actually right-handed. <laughs> so he'll he'll actually be good now. That's what he's saying. <laughs> or at least he'll be able to do things better until he's as OP in his other game. The problem is I gotta remember what I have in this one versus the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and so I hope that doesn't come to bite me. <laughs> You'll be like, all right, I'm gonna, here's my super attack. Oh, oh crap, I, I don't, don't, have, don't it. have it. Oh, so these guys, guys for the skeleton I've noticed joke. that if you get too close, they do. That's when they launch the three bombs around them, like super fast, and it's almost mm. impossible to dodge them. But if you stay far so, enough away, they just toss them at you, and they're you pretty that easy to dodge. Stay away from Bill Hader. Stay away from Bill Hader. He's giving you bad advice because maybe Bill Hader's a really great guy. And he's super nice. Uh, you know what? He's super nice. He's a great actor. You should just leave him alone. Let him have his space. Oh. Do that with all celebrities. But especially Bill Hader. Especially Bill Hader, because he'll throw three bombs at you mm -hmm. if you get too close. Do a special. Oh, so, yeah, last time we played, you know how we thought you had to run over and grab it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't. No, you just hit the button again, and it comes back. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. So, so it is the best weapon in the game. Uh, so I've I've For read now. a handful of things online, and a lot of people don't like it. But honestly, I I've played through some of the other weapons, and 
it's a pretty balanced game overall with any of the weapons. Like you can beat the game with any of them. It a lot of it just comes yeah. down to how comfortable you feel playing the weapon. And like some weapons, I'm just like this feels like I'm like I have brain damage when I'm playing it. So it makes you feel the like gold the first ones, time. since I bought a thing, they'll give you some coins now if you see them. But you have to look gold. for the shiny, the shiny pots. The shiny pots. Yeah, they're, they're not always gold. Um, see, there's another gold one. Chow. And then the palms power up the skills you already have. So the I'm gonna go with that one because I use the primary one more. So when you have so the bag with the skull, that'll take you where you can buy things with skull what's bag. his face? The, the boatman. boatman. The traveling boatman. The merchant. What are you buying? So basically what you're saying is Daedalus Hammer, the Pomegranate, and the Keys, those rooms you should probably pick as your priority. Oh. Or do you not even pick Keys anymore? Unless it's just there. Depends. Keys are good for unlocking your mirror, but once you unlocked everything, then Keys are kind of worthless. Yeah. Makes sense. So, depends on where, where you're at in the game. Like, I still want keys right now, but like, right, I could also use those because they give me health. And I would probably okay. prefer a little health. Hi, Meg. And FYI, you don't always fight Meg here. Really? Yeah. So then what happens when you don't fight her? Do you just bypass this room altogether or? No, nope. sometimes you fight it's other people. And I don't think the company who created this has enough money for potential rights to have Sephiroth in their game. It's somebody with one wing. Oh. I mean, it's all the same, right? Ah. I'm doing You're terrible. just going to start nerd war with that. Nerd war! Death defied. Can't see her. So now, who are the other? Because you already mentioned it. Who are the other people that you come across in this room? I don't remember their names. The one that only says murder, and the other one. I don't play this game for the story. I just think ah, I need more health. Yeah, we're playing it on our mainline series for the story. Yeah. You guys can pay attention. I just like the gameplay. <laughs> but you, you don't neither of us pay attention. Yes. Better hope the audience is paying enough attention to the story to get their fill, because we're not paying attention enough to remember. There's a lot of dialogue in this game between all the gods. Wow, I only have 50 health. I need a. They are a chatty bunch. I need to do something about that. No way to go but up. The Cerberus collar will uh, give me more health. I get that. Like three times the health. I think it starts out at like plus twenty-five, and then as it ranks up, it might go up to max out at like plus fifty. Yeah. So. I'll dream oh. quicker. So this is a special one here. It's kind of green and gold. So what does it give you? Money. Oh, OK. I don't know if it gave you some So money these goals. ones where they have the two gods. So the gods fight. Yeah. So you pick one and you get the, the boon, but then you have to fight the enemies while the god that you didn't pick helps them. So course is set. it and can be harder Then, if you win, then you get the boon of the second god. So you actually get two boons. But some nice. of those combinations can really wreck you. Especially on the later 
parts of the game. I do enjoy dead people's fineries. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. The Barge of Death. I always like to just blow those up first thing, even though I probably should use them to my advantage. But for some reason, I imagine that it won't turn out that great. Like, you'll set one off, a dude will knock you back I just imagine I'll explodes. set it off and blow myself up. Yeah. And I'd rather just fight and not have to worry about that. So the blue You're ones totally will give... Uh, the boatman's boat. They will give the uh, little shields on some of the guys. So it's best to take them out first. So, kind of like the cheerleaders in another game? I mean, let's just face it. All enemies and character classes are derived from Dungeons & Dragons. So, and all Dungeons & Dragons is just ripped off of the Lord of the Rings. So, <sighs> And then the Lord of the Rings is ripped off of something else. And so yeah, forth and so forth. That, that was the time. only original thing ever created. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Everything else is just a rip off of Lord of the Rings. Uh, you sucker. Is it though? Like, I don't it know is. why, but I imagine that Dungeons and Dragons has been around for ages. It's like, not I imagine people in. It's been around since the 70s, and they were actually sued by the Tolkien estate for using some of their trademarks items. So. Interesting. Yeah. I just imagine people in the 1600s playing Dungeons and Dragons while sipping their tea. And I mean, that was their real that was, life. Yeah, that's like, what I was going to say. Fighting <laughs> dragons and goblins and monsters. And Who would want, it's like playing the game of life. Who wants to play a game of life when it's just your real life? I mean, kinda, yeah. When you start playing an MMO and realize that if you put that, that level of effort into your life, you'd be rich. All right, money land, Hermes. Hmm. I need to buy some health. There's usually health to buy. Usually. I guess they should have been looking for the, the wells. Oh, and there isn't. Oh. I can buy another heart. Which helps a little bit. Erg. What's. You know, I'm gonna buy this because I'm either gonna die or live. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's generally the options, right? <laughs> so, the coins in this game. Are they only basically used for that shop, or are they used for other things? Uh, the coins are only used while you're in the encounters, and you lose them once you die. Okay. Ah, I tempted fate. And he smacks you with it. I know he's going to try and slam me. All right. He did exactly that. That's a new move. I don't recall them actually they, doing that. They don't always do the same thing every time. It gets I totally remember him doing that. Up. <laughs> Not I totally you. remember everything. It's only because you know me. Unfortunately. Turn! Turn and face the enemy. No. That's not a thing you should do. I guess it is a good thing, though, that they aren't like a rinse and repeat same moves over. They do kind of spice it up and you can do other things. It creates a different playable experience. As we're considering a lot of the time you're just 
facing the same All bosses right. over and over in this. Not yet. Oh, now there's skeletons coming at you too? Yeah, they launched those little mine looking things. And they turn into skeletons. And they, if you don't like break them, egg. then yeah, it's like an egg. And oh. They'll hatch with the little skeleton guys. I don't think that's how eggs work. Or skeletons, for that matter. That's actually interesting, because I thought that they were just no. bombs. You dashed right you into him, more. and his head came down and smacked you in your head. I thought you had one more. Lifesaver move. Nope. I hate that Hydra. He unfortunately used them all with Meg. Oh. Alright. Come on, Divine Dash. Divine Dash. Chow, chow. That's the one I want. That's the deflecting. It'll deflect when I dash. Artemis uh -oh. after Artemis. Not this person. Just thinking about this guy. Were you? I forgot about this I one. Was. Until it came up right now. Come on, get a little further away. Special critical effects. Mm, plus 30%. Mm. That's kind of helpful too. Now let's just do that. So is there a god that you have found that gives the better ability enhancements that you prefer? Um, kind of depends on the specific boon. Um, Artemis is usually pretty good because it's crit critical damage, so it's mm -hmm. usually just pretty good just in general. But like Ares has some pretty good boons. Um, with the doom damage and uh, Dionysus can have some good ones. So it just depends. Like every God has kind of a range of them and some are not that great. And it depends on your play style and um, what attacks you're using. What is your favorite one that you have found so far? Oh, I don't know. Um, it's mainly the Daedalus Hammer that are the ones that I remember the most. And with that one, that, so there's one where you can basically just hold down the attack button and it just spams the attack, but so, and, like super fast. And so that one is just like, like way so like overpowered, in my opinion. Special controllers that you used to have back in the day. Yeah, it's like a turbo button. Like the turbo yeah. And so if you get Sega. that along with the increased attack range, um, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good combo, but there's no guarantee that you'll get one of those within a run, let alone both of them. So basically with that combo, you're just too OP for anyone to handle you. Any uh, enemy. It's, it's very nice when you end up with the, that combination. I don't think I have to. Now, because you Charles play with the unlocked. spear, is that a combination you prefer with the spear, or is there? Uh, it's great. I mean, you it's great really for like the, bow, the bow too. Okay. Um, I played the most with the bow and the spear. I don't really. You want to go? Like the shield's supposed to be pretty good because it's the only weapon that you can block with. But hmm. I just don't like it. I don't like the feel of it. It is interesting that you can block in the game, because I kind of thought that the shield might be that, but this doesn't, these, the type of games that are created by this company, it never has felt like you could block. That it's just you attack and you attack and you attack. 
So that's interesting that you can block. More do. Yeah, and like you can you can attack, like boss, any boss attack. Like it'll block anything. So it's pretty overpowered. So if you can get used to it, like it's it's pretty good. It's just like I don't like the uh, the the regular attack, and then the special where you can kind of chain around the throwing the shield is nice sometimes, but it can kind of bite you some other times. Oh, it's not Meg. Finally, you must be one of Megara's lovely sisters. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Waiting for what exactly? So sick of, you know, doing my regular job, uh, uninterrupted, cool. not having to clean up Meg's mess. I get the feeling we're starting off on the wrong foot. Anyway, so they're the. God. They're the sisters of fate. Can't do that. That's interesting. Didn't they share an eye, though? Possibly. Maybe she has Meg's eye right now, and that's how she's able to. Maybe Meg's just taking a break, and she's resting. And so, Electo decided, hey, I'll take over for you, but give me your eye so I can see what's going on. I don't know, I guess it's just interpreted by whoever's creating sure. the stories. let's go with that. Well, we've talked about God of War on this channel, and specifically in this gameplay. And in that gameplay, I don't recall the... Fate's sharing an eye. So. Like I said, I just think it might be up for interpretation of who's ever is creating the story. I don't like her very much. Yeah, so the dot, the Greek mythology, mm -hmm. the gray translation, old women, gray ones, or gray witches, alternatively called gray. Or gray well, there's just too many vowels in yeah. some of these words. Also called the gray sisters were... And the four sides, daughters of Forus, were three sisters who shared one eye and one tooth among them. And what were their names? I don't know. It doesn't... I have to actually click on the Wikipedia article to... Uh, Dieno, or Dino, Enyo, and Pemfredo. Hmm. Treasure trove! Get your hands off my trove. Oh, I'm gonna put my Get hands, your hands off my trove. Is that really your what you just trove. said? Yep. That sounds <laughs> weird. I guess I was. Maybe yeah, Disney did something of... right. No, I mean, I never necessarily doubt Disney for them going back into. Um, well, that's better history accuracy, but I do know that often stories get warped and changed because the Disney's not gonna... Moving on. I, like, you look at the grim fairy tales and they're grim. They're grim. It's called and artistic Disney, liberties. Yes. So that's why I'm, I just end up sometimes curious on yeah. if they were changed or if they were not. I guess they aren't the the Furies of Fate, that they're just Furies. Ah. Megara, Electo, Where'd and that guy go? Tisphany? That sucker. Who, knows who it was? Tisphany? Tisphany. That's who it is. I had to double check that. Interesting. Daedalus, alright. Attack three times. Ah, two spin attacks? I don't like the spin attack. Extra pointy. So it does a lot of damage, but like you gotta hold it. Like it takes yeah. a lot of time. So put yourself at risk. <laughs> All right. Mm, let's go, Zeus. Interesting. Interesting. Are you still reading about the fates? <laughs> well, I was reading. I was reading about the fates, but then I was reading about other things. Because it's been a while just, since I've... Stop in the middle of our gameplay to read about Greek history. I was... It matters because it's related to this. It matters. 
Just remember that next time I yawn. <laughs> I wasn't yawning. I disappeared for thirty yeah, I know, minutes. You're not. You're just. just <laughs> It was it was a bit like it was a callback to earlier. <laughs> Yannick, how dare you? And I didn't disappear for thirty minutes. I was kind of paying attention to what you were doing. No use. And like I said, it matters because hey, maybe her other sister's gonna show up, and I'll be like, hey, it's her other fury sister, and it'll matter. It's yeah, called research. I could have told you that without researching it. Oh, hey, look, here's the third one the who game. looks just <laughs> like her. We're gonna, we're gonna risk it. I'm gonna go for another palm. Of doom. Another palm. Oh, well, that means we're gonna go into Blurney with a little less strength. Yes. Life. Critical. Hmm. Mm. But at least you haven't, mm. at least I'm from what I was crit. able to gather from listening, you haven't used your death defies yet. So, uh, so they're on the lower left hand corner, those little circles. So there's one death defy, and then I've got my lucky tooth, oh. which is similar to a death defiance. Well, you haven't used them yet, so I mean, here's hoping you do really well. But I mean, a, more life would, of course, be, have been beneficial. Oh, that spear throw does so little damage. I haven't upgraded it very much. That's why. No, I know. I'm just I'm watching as the, like the tiny little slivers of life are getting ticked away from the. the it's bar. doing the and base damage. Saying, it has no yeah. upgrade. But it keeps me safe. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not judging it for that reason. I just it's very little life. She's not judging it for that re reason. <laughs> so, she is judging it, <laughs> well, just not for that reason. I I don't even think I would necessarily judge the spear because there's a lot that you're doing three hits on it uh, or with it, so that's a good thing to do. I haven't played this game to know if it's the best weapon that I would have chosen. It's different per everyone has their own opinion on yeah. it. Yeah. And so that's why what? I don't know. Everybody has their own opinion? No, of course not. Even our movie podcasts. We all share the exact same opinion on everything. We do we do tend to agree on that more often than you yeah. think. Well, but we do What'd have you think of this we, movie. It sucked. What do you think of this movie? It was great. I don't know. I, I think we look at things a little... I think we look at things differently enough in what we do like and what we don't like. And while a movie might suck, we have different reasons of why we think it sucks. Or sucks, or could do, do better, or whatever. We just feel so. stronger about certain points than others. Yeah. We all agree very strongly that the sound mixing should be better yes. in most movies. Ah. Well, uh, I guess it also don't depends on Don't come really quiet and then really loud. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. I, I don't want to be offensive. controlling the volume the entire movie. I'm trying to think of what movies have done that really well recently that I've seen. That you don't have to worry about really screwed up sound mixes. Uh, get out or of the you, fire! Yeah. Did the fire, the lava, just take lightning damage then? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Come on, use. No, don't. I <laughs> straight up curve towards it, so. That's what I was worried Ooh. about, and I couldn't, I couldn't get it, my attack off. All right, I'm gonna just have to go in and take you out. Spam it to death. There's something with some real attack power. 
Yeah, I was almost dead anyway. Nice. Dude. Look at that. I drove vanquished. Alright. So you just claimed a diamond. Hmm. I think I will. Ha! Ah, no. Eh, ah, we'll see. Eh, he, oh. uh, he. You just got. A I bought a death defiance kiss. back. Kissed. Don't think I've gone this far. Check. Just got kissed from a band. Have we made it to Elysium? No, this is the furthest this we've is ever the been. Furthest? Yeah. This is the very furthest. The fields of Elysium. Because I think we ended the last playthrough. Or a playthrough recording with you just kind of we kind of made it to the Hydra and I think we tried to beat it like two or three times and then it just didn't happen. So these guys are kind of a pain in the butt. Some of them. Some of the ones in this level. You have to be a little it's a little trickier. So after you kill them, they turn into these little things and if you don't kill these fast enough, they respawn. Oh, so it's and then, just like Transistor. Don't tell them they're reusing their same, same enemy. Yeah. It's, it's the Apple way, right? Build your technology, but then release it 10% feature. of the time. It's a new feature every game. Or they're just adding new little bits on every game. Or if it's an Apple product, just release it with less... Accessibility. Let's do it. So if you want a headphone jack, well, you don't need a headphone jack, right? We're going trove. Slay foes quickly and you have one left now. Jeez. So at the bottom of your screen next to your life, what is the three with the red diamond? Like, what is that? Those are my cast. On... cast. Okay. Because I noticed that, it a lot when those. you were... Yeah, let's go with the nectar. Because, yeah, when you were fighting the Hydra, I hate they these would bow be releasing guys. those. They're, they're such cowards. They, like, just sit and run away from you and hide until they can snipe you. So you basically have to sit and chase them around the entire time. So doesn't like that call their strengths? Isn't that called tactical retreat? It's, it's called being a pain in my ass. It's called, gift. it's called cowardice. And don't get in front of those arrow, arrows. Where are, are they like a one hit? They do damage. They're traps. So they either damage oh. foes or they damage me. Are those sentient chariots? Yeah. Are they chariots nice. on fire? No. They weren't on fire. Not yet. Ah! I'm the one who gets to make references around here. Don't steal my thunder. I, okay, I'll try not to. And I can't actually even guarantee that because I'm sure at some point I'm going to reference something without even realizing I'm referencing something. Time to collect. It'll just happen. Oh, I hate this level. This one. Butterflies? Sucks. So you gotta kill the little things that spawn or they'll spawn guys. But then you have to kill and the then you floating gotta kill ball the of butterflies. Butterfly guy. Yeah. That's how the level ends. That's a new one. A floating ball of butterflies. And then the butterflies, butterflies kill you too. It's just like that movie we watched, the Silence of the Lambs. The no, butterflies are one the deadliest got out. things ever. One got Jeez. out. Jeez. Just kill him already. You're not going for life. He's going for the distance. Going for speed. He's going for speed. 
all alone. If you go with Hermes, you're going for speed. <laughs> yeah. Debating it. I probably should at this point. Well, only you know what lies ahead. Yep. Mr. More butterflies. Hours outside of the mainland playing a, a game. A game that you like. So what is it about Hades that made you want to play it outside? Because you said you like the gameplay, but what's specifically about it? The gameplay. Because you said you weren't paying attention. But you said you weren't paying attention to the story. Yep. You were just playing for. Th it's the gameplay. This right here. This is it. This is enjoyable for me. Okay. Murder and death. Have you ever played Dynasty See, Warriors? You're not the only one. I you're not, not the only one who can enjoy murder and death feathers. No, I mean, hey, it's it's fine. I just also Dynasty Warriors has a story. I'm sure. If anybody knows it, yeah, please don't tell <laughs> no, us. Well, there is the new because uh, it's really what's the it's just a hack and Zelda slash. one. Thanatos. I rule warriors. warriors, yeah, which is basically just Dynasty Warriors for Zelda. It's to be fair, though, Zelda has the same uh, story. So uh, in every game. So. so this one, I have to kill more enemies faster than the other guy. And then if I do, I get then, a then bonus. Thanos? Yeah. You've got to kill more people than that. He killed half of everything. You got to kill more than half of everything. Yep. Well, I mean, uh, and then what? You just have to keep going until the stage stops, or is there a time limit? I know there's a certain one. amount of enemies. I'm gonna go for the easy guys, because it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's numbers, it's then numbers. Yeah. yeah. Let him fight the big ones. So I got 15, and he had nine, I think. Yep, I suck it. <laughs> So you get a heart and a hammer. Oh, so this one. So hold your attack to strike rapidly, but then I can't use my spin attack, which I never use anyways. Oh, the, to spin a, the, the spin attack you don't so, use. So, so it does that. Just... I just hold the button. It's awesome. Left without so much Sounds like easy run. mode. I left when it was. That's more motivation than I've ever. <sighs> All right, let's go for this. It will give us some health. Just spam it like crazy, because jeez. And then I have the triple, which helps. But the range is actually better in the end. I can't have a fill. Block all these now, skeleton. You can't block all of my 15 hits on you. Can't block chariots. Well, they have armor, so. With armor on. Yeah, suckers. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, they go into like turbo mode. Yeah, they do. Jeez. Watch out for the arrow. The slow motion arrow. Probably should have did the yeah, other one. Market. Oh, my cabbages. Attack dash. Revenge. I wonder how many people would get that reference now that that show's available on Netflix. Probably like eight people. Mm hmm. It's not like it was a popular show or anything. Mm -mm. That's why it was canceled. It actually wasn't canceled. It wasn't. It ran through its. All Let's right, run. you guys. It ran through its story. Ready to see some bosses. Oh wow! Wow. And not only that, but apparently they're. Theseus. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Just a little bit. But yeah, apparently they're gonna be creating like another like either limited run series to expand the world or something. 
But yeah, not popular at all. Like, nope. Nugget certainly didn't get the reference. I didn't. I didn't. Not, I don't even focused. know what you're yeah. talking about. I was gonna say he's not even paying attention. I mean, to... that's normal, you know. Are they also fighting each other? No. Ah, you sucker! I'm sitting here thinking, why would he, why would Theseus be fighting with the Minotaur? Like they were enemies in Greek mythology. And then I had to look it up just to make sure that I was thinking correctly. Come on, stop chasing me. Ah, that was a bad place Ooh, to that be. Was, that was a hit. Ooh. And he's shooting with a bow while the Minotaur fights you close quarters. Luckily I have some deflection that helps yeah. sometimes. Come on, stop being impervious and get back to it. Ooh. Oh, the... It didn't take deflection. a lot of damage it looked like, but that just looked very violent. It's because he deflected it. Yeah. And that's good. It just... It would have cleaved you in two if you ooh, had not blocked it. Ooh. Dictified. Come on, die already. All right. So I always want to take him down. out first. Because once this guy gets to a certain point, he does this. You little turd. Whoa. Whoa, that's... Seems really similar to Meg, though. Yeah. Yeah. Where you have the option of... Kind of. Just things flying out of the sky. But they're coming from the ground, though, so... Circle and then the explosion. Yes. Same thing. Now he's making some progress! Shut it for a bit. Ambrosia! Ambrosia! Well, you'll have to come back to see what's after this next gate, everyone. Where does da, this da, lead? Da, 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 da. It's a cliffhanger. Because no one could ever look it up. <laughs> no. Anyways, check back. Stop giving people ideas. Check back for the next episode, and we'll see you then.